All right, Wally, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. What's um What's one of the best things to happen to you this year? Uh, maybe um my album. I feel it's my album. It's called it, uh, Surrender the Hype. And I was like a year working on it, and uh, because I said the next, I did, my last album was in 2013. So I wanted to do a new album, but with no deadline. Yeah. So after a year doing songs for an album and didn't see, you know, the end of the tunnel, I said, okay, let's finish this. <laughs> <laughs> let's put a deadline. So we already uh, released it, and maybe that's my headline of, of this year. That's awesome. So what was like, what made you want to do another album? You just felt like it was time, you had enough tracks, like... What was yeah, it? I did like uh, 16 tracks and I was quite... I did the album, to be honest, just for me. So I wanted... Because the last album I did, it was more for the people. Okay. And now after the years, I don't like it. I feel like yeah. I had to do it better or do it different or do it more. You know, I want to be proud of the thing I do. So... I don't need like you be proud of me. I need to be proud of myself. So this time I decided to do that kind of album, and uh, I invite you to listen to it. I have listened. And uh, it's quite electronic. I have a few vocals, and I don't know, a few house uh, tracks. I did a break beat. I did everything in the, in the album, but just for me. And the people is liking it, so I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Yeah, and you're doing a tour for that now. Yeah, I'm doing a tour. Yeah, uh, till uh, middle of uh, November, by now. Because now, uh, after November, we have the... Also, I uh, do a radio show in Spain, so with the radio, we have to do uh, it's the anniversary, blah, 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 so... Yeah. So, and also, I have a new party called La Fama. It's like the okay. famous or fame. Okay, and, what's uh, that all about? Yeah, and uh, it's, it's quite a big thing uh, we have in New Year's Eve, so... I finish at the end of... Uh, the middle of November, the, the touring, because we have to focus also on on the, the party we do in New Year's Eve for La Fama. Do you, you know, get burnt out with all this? Uh, uh, what? Like, get tired of doing this? You know, no. No? <laughs> no. It's, it's because I, I really like what I do. Yeah. Um, it's my life. So I never, I never get tired. I mean, sometimes you are, like, physically tired. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't hate what I do, or, like, traveling, or making music, or going there. Nah, I, I love it. It's part of, of me. It's my, my thing. Yeah, you never had like a creative struggle. What? I yeah, but that's part of the of also of the of the of the of the fun thing. I mean, when you get down and you don't feel like creative or whatever, to rebuild again, you know, and try to find your place, your path, where you're going, what I do now. That's part of the of this adventure. I love that. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. <laughs> what about? Yeah. Um, you're so good at, you know, promoting everything and, and having like a image. Do you enjoy that part as well? Or do you kind of pass that on to other people? The... Well, sometimes, I mean, I, I love promoting and I love marketing from writing from my beginning. But that side is sometimes I would like just to focus on the music. But to be honest, now it's quite impossible. You have to do everything to be on everything and and and... For example, now it's important to go out and see friends and, you know, and share music with the people and going, the most to go out, I, I like party. I mean, I'm a DJ and I'm doing this <laughs> since I was 13, so I like nightlife and I like party, but uh, I would love to go out only to have fun. But it's true that now, nowadays, you have to go out also for the business thing and, you know. Yeah. It's important that the people see your face and, <laughs> and remember you, so. Yeah, fair enough. Um, how do you feel about your place now in, you know, in your history of being a DJ? Like, are you happy with where you're at in your career? Is there more you want to go towards? Yeah. I mean, the, the, bad and the, the good and the bad things I did, I did by myself. I, I, mm -hmm. I chose all of them. So in life, to choose what you do is so difficult and important. So. I, Everything, all the wrong things I did and all the bad, good things I did, it was by myself. So I don't want to change anything. And uh, now I'm, I have more like new things I want to do. Yeah, but uh, the most to be happy, to be with my family, to see my kids growing up. Yeah. 
that's the most important thing for me uh, in the life. And then the music is my hobby. Music, food, and sneakers. <laughs> so if I have sneakers, I have food, and I have music, it's awesome. I got it all. <laughs> and I got the family. Um, yeah. What's, uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, what's something that you would like to do? You just said there's more you'd like to do. Like? Uh, yeah, any, like something you'd like to do that you don't feel like you have the time for or that you would like to learn how to do? I don't know. Yeah? No. Because I, I don't want to jump from a uh, plane or no. nothing, things like that. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's nice because everything I do is exactly what I want to do. If I'm, uh, I used to say in Spanish, uh, so you're not my libre, like a free soul. Like, I want to go there, I go there. And I want to do this, I do this. So I think I don't have too many things to do that I never did before. And if something appears like tomorrow I want to do this, I, I want to focus on that and I will try my best to, to do it. That's awesome. Whatever, like for hobbies, like a professional thing, like tomorrow I want to quit the music and do another thing, I will do it uh, with no doubts. It's good to live. Because we are here for a limited time in the life, so we have to enjoy as much as possible. What's, uh, what's something that you would tell a DJ coming up now that's trying to break in, you know, with the like way the industry names. is today? Yeah. Like new names. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, now so many, like, that's, that's a really nice thing. It's like so many new people like making, like DJs, to be honest, I don't care too much. It's like, there is no new people doing something really <laughs> different, but the life acts or producing, it's amazing. Now it's so many different music and quality and and uh, before it was like always the same names like producing, now so many labels and kids doing amazing music. I don't know any name now, like boom. But yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, producing is maybe, there are so many, uh, a lot of people say like with the reggaeton and everything, it's like uh, the, the, the difficult time, but it's, exactly the positive it's like as much commercial music is happening uh, more like control it like edm or reggaeton more underground stuff is happening and more people doing amazing music so yeah i think it's a good time for the music not to sell them maybe but to like <laughs> that, like that, <laughs> to sell music but, uh, like to you know receive amazing productions wow good times yeah, have it has it worked out for you with like kind of the new streaming Spotify, you know, that kind of thing with selling music? I mean, you put out it, it's it's good. I mean, yeah, as much as possible you have to listen music. Uh, much better for us. Yeah. So yeah, sure. I think it's super nice. Uh, I mean, like uh, I'm a collector of sneakers, for example. So if you're a collector of music, it's different when you buy your vinyl, when you buy your whatever. With the Spotify, you have nothing. But it's also that you can get every single song from the world, from your past, from whoever. You, can, you have everything in your mobile, so I, I like it. it. It's like yeah. they, you get a Uber, you get a, I don't know, <laughs> a two, uh, they put me out of the hotel now, I have my laptop or whatever, I get out of room. That's, that's the future, it's, and it's, it's nice. And you know, for example, I'm from Spain, and in Spain, the, we had a huge problem with uh, piracy, with like a like, oh, like yeah. big thing. And after Spotify and all these things, nobody's downloading for free nothing anymore. Because you pay $9.99 mm -hmm. and you have everything. Yeah. So at least they don't pay that, they don't pay that much, but they pay you something. <laughs> <laughs> at least they pay you, so fair enough. <laughs> so what's uh, one of your favorite shows you've ever done shows yeah gigs i mean i don't know i did uh, i've done a lot but i i miss a lot uh, the the space ibiza opening and closing yeah when but was that, that yeah what year was that what what, what year uh, all of them yeah all of them i mean to be honest maybe the worst was the last one yeah, because the... it was uh i could do that in a different way they, they wanted really to do business, business. And if I were the owner, I, did, I would do, do everything for free and burn the club after <laughs> that. <laughs> but um, I did a lot in uh, the, the most in the car park. 
So always when I play in the car park, like six, seven thousand people, and the, the feeling there was amazing. Really, really nice. Yeah. What's, um, what's, if you wanted people to know one thing about you, what would that be? Uh, <laughs> one, one word. Uh, no, it's not making people words. <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think yeah. um, I'm a, um, a family man that uh, enjoy the life and I make some music sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly just enjoying life making. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Well, is there anything else? No, yes. So happy to be here with you guys and, and thank you for everything. Yeah. And hopefully see you around. Well, tonight. We'll for see sure. you tonight. We'll do tonight for play. sure. It's going to be it's fun. Gonna be fun. Yeah. I love the club. Club and it's so good. I think the last three, four years I came to the AD, I played there always. Yeah. And that's the spot we should go. It's yeah. like perfect uh, capacity, perfect sound system. Very good. I mean, you've done so many, obviously, like you said, 6,000, 7,000 people. I mean, yeah. Well, I saw you with like the little uh, in Miami, just like the little patio. Like, so you've done all these huge yeah, 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 yeah. Of, like. I mean, I. Uh, that's part of the of the magic of the music. Also. Yeah. You can play here. Yeah. If you guys want to play here now, I put a uh, USB <laughs> and let's do it. <laughs> so, and also we can go to a festival, 30,000 people, I do it. It's the same. That's awesome. Well, it's a pleasure, Wallace. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you. for everything. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. And why? Why? Uh,